Uh, everyone's talking about the King today, so I wanted to talk about the Queen a little bit. What is her role going to be? I understand she's no longer called the Queen Consort, but what is the role of a Queen? This is the thing that's been confusing so many people is the title, and the title is Queen Consort because as the wife of the King, it, it was automatic. She becomes the Queen. That is, that's just how it is. All if you look in history, that's how it's always been with previous previous kings and their wives being queens. Her role is there to basically support her husband uh, in his role as king and to help him with these day to day duties. With you know, this is the support. If I can say. Like any um, partner supports a partner in today's world. It's the same, obviously, it's a slightly different when your husband is the king. And when I worked for them, I was very aware of how supportive she was to him back then. Do you think her role has changed then from what it was previously? A lot, yes. I mean, over the years, when I was there, I could see her become more, more and more of a support. Um, she's very good with him. She's great at how she supports him. They've also got a humorous side, which I think some people might have seen, where she's quite good at, um, you know, when sometimes they're doing events or something, there's a bit of humor. She always has a bit of a smile. And sometimes, sometimes it even turns into a bit of a giggle, a bit of giggling, which is really funny, which I used to witness as well. And I noticed today at the Abbey, there was one or two moments where she would look and smile at him and she would yeah. just have that kind of smile and I, I remember that so well so well it almost looked like a nervous smile today didn't it they both actually looked quite nervous do you think the public's gr yeah. grown to love her and accept her I, I think they have I mean I've had so many conversations with friends that were very much if I can say the late Diana Princess of Wales fans they initially didn't like her and now they can see that she's there doing an amazing job and supporting um her husband and of course with a lot of families sadly there's breakups and things go wrong and and it takes years to heal sometimes it doesn't heal but i think on this occasion people are i don't know if i say are forgiven but i think they've moved on and accept the fact that she is the wife of the one time prince charles now king charles and they understand that she's there to support him i mean you mentioned the breakup we don't often talk about it these days but of course the new king has stepchildren because of this relationship doesn't he mm. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And of course, um, you've got Tom and Lara, Laura, Lara, Laura, 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 who again, I knew really well when they joined the house or when they joined the family. And they're, they're great fun and they got on with other members of the family. They've got their own children. So as you mentioned, they, both the king and queen have got step uh, children, grandchildren, uh, but, which makes them kind of very modern. It's a very modern royal family. I think this is the, the wonderful thing about the royal family. You know, at one time they were always seen as the perfect family. You know, divorces and things just didn't happen, where now they are like everybody else. You know, they, they, and they're proud of that. I find it fascinating that Camilla's son from her first marriage, Tom Parker Bowles, his stepfather is the king, um, but also his, he's his godfather too. I find that it blows my mind. Um, but it, Camilla's it first husband is still alive, and that is a unique situation in the, in the English monarchy. Uh, what's yeah, his relationship yeah. with the royal family? Well, very good. I don't know if you noticed, he was actually in the Abbey. I, I noticed he was sitting, uh, obviously, in the Abbey with the other guests, and quite near the front, I should mention. Um, he's, he's always been close to the family. You know, he's, he's had a, um, a long-standing relationship with the king, uh, obviously, his wife, former wife, now queen. And, you know, the, and also he was friends, I believe, with Princess Anne over the years. So they, there's a close relationship uh, between both families, which is nice. I think it's really nice also for the children. You know, it makes it, uh, I think when you have this situation, it makes it a lot easier for families when there's obviously been a divorce and separation and a remarriage. It makes it easier, I think. So it's nice to see them as one family united today in the Abbey. Well, Grant, you mentioned Princess Anne, which brings me to the question, who is the best royal and why is it Princess Anne? <laughs> Princess, Princess Anne. I think Princess Anne is a favourite because uh, I don't know one person that doesn't like Princess Anne. And at one time, I think it was said she was the hardest working royal with obviously the king's just slightly behind. She's very popular. And I think the reason she's popular, she does. she's a bit like her late father. She does it and says it as she does. You know, she doesn't kind of mix her words. And, you know, famously, she's been seen for being like that. And I think people like that. You know where you are with her. I, I thought she was amazing. I, I always thought it was great to see her. And, and it makes me smile because, as you know, I live in the Cotswolds. I live at high, on the Hygro Estate. And she's often seen popping into local shops. And people that know me will say, Princess Anne was in here the other day as if it's a shock. But, you know, they are, as I said earlier on, they are quite down to earth. They're quite normal. They do a lot of the things that you and me do. 
Yeah, I mean, she put over 200 public appearances in, in the last year. So she's one of the ones really on the grind. Uh, but Grant, to wrap up, mm. is Queen Camilla ready to be queen? I think she is. You know, she's supported her husband, the longest prince of Wales in history. They've been married 18 years. I was lucky enough to be at that wedding. I've witnessed the early years of the relationship of their marriage. And I could see even then that she would be perfect for this role. She's going to be making an excellent queen and a, a great support to her husband, uh, King Charles.